This is how you can read any HTML content with JavaScript. In this example, we have an H1 can an order list with an ID card, some list items, and one of them has this added class, and at the end, a paragraph class with the class items. You can use Query Selector to read any content from HTML using a CSS selector. If we look at the output for this console log, we see that we get a reference to the unordered list with the ID card. If we now look for the list element, Query Selector is going to return only the first match. If we want to get all the matches for this selector, we should use Query Selector All. And this is going to return a node list. We can do any kind of CSS selector, for example, ID, as we have here, a class, a tag, a tag. Okay, but why is it useful to know this? Well, query selectors are used in testing, web scraping, and dynamic apps. We can even try it from the browser in developer tools. In this example, we can find all the elements with the class title blob, query selector all, and we pass the class selector and we can see that we have a reference to all the available nodes in the HTML. 